All right, look, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't have any way to, like, start this video, so I'm just, I'm doing hot girl shit. You already see it. You see what's up? You see what's up? Yes, sir. Don't even, ain't even got, ain't even got sweat. Got the Momo phone case, got the, got the beanie, you know, we got the shirt. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, sir, get your ankles broke, samurai, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm just the number one Corey Kenshin fan in America, but just waiting on Corey to admit it. Now, uh, if you notice anything different, I mean, the camera quality. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty nice. And uh, I spray painted my microphone black. You know what I'm saying? Spray painted it black. Nah, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. I bought a, a whole new microphone. I didn't buy it. Actually, never mind. Cut that out. I didn't buy it. My girlfriend, she bought it for me for Christmas, cause mine was, it was, it was messed up. It was just, it wasn't that good. It's not that it wasn't that good. Just I, I had had it for a long time, and uh, the port where you plug in the microphone to your computer, it was all like messed up and it, it, it completely broke. And I, I took it apart to try and fix it and. It broke off, so that now there is no port where you plug in the microphone, so it just doesn't work. And uh, the camera quality, you know what I'm saying? You can see my like pores on my face. Why? Why? There's no need to be this good quality. This camera I got for Christmas, it was 600. I know what you're thinking. Who the fuck would spend 600 dollars on a camera for their child? <sighs> My parents are divorced, and uh, so my mom typically gives me a present, my grandmother and my dad. So I got my grandmother and father to buy me a camera. It was 600, so they split it, it was like 250 each. What the fuck am I saying? It was like 300 each. Mm, yeah. So I mean, expect this crisp, clean quality from now on, you know? You know what I'm saying? I wanna start doing live streams. I've set up my live streams, I set up every keybind. The switch from scene to scene, you know what I'm saying? Got my mic set up, I got a face cam set up for the live stream, so if you wanna see me live stream and tune in from time to time, check if I'm live, you know? Alright, no, but for real. We're gonna be playing a scurry game. We're gonna be playing Puppet Combo Power Drill Massacre by Puppet Combo. I've always loved Puppet Combo videos that Corey makes. So I thought, you know, why not just play? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I mean, puppet combo. If you don't know what it is, you're gonna find out today. I did pay three dollars for this game, and you guys will be reimbursing me for this three dollars with the like button. And if you're not subscribed, check now, right now. I'll wait. All right. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I appreciate you. So have you guys ever seen those like hand casting kits that couples use? Well I did it with my girlfriend and uh... <laughs> uh... Um, no, focus this, focus, yeah there you go, yes sir. Okay now it's back on me. So we tried it and uh, it didn't turn out so well, you know. So we had our hands together and like it was like, it was like this her hand up against mine, but our hands fell apart while we're in the tub of like the, the liquid. Oh no. And uh, they looked bad. So then we pulled our hands apart because we were gonna buy another one because it looked terrible. And then I, I, I managed to come out with this masterpiece. It, uh, I love it. And it's gonna be sitting on my dresser for the rest of my days. Now I had to turn up the ISO on my camera because I don't have professional studio lights. And the ISO basically is artificial light. It'll just turn up the brightness of everything and just make it look a little bit better. You know, it's like, it's just light. It's not actually there. So my room is a lot darker than what you see now. And because of me turning up the ISO, it turns down the quality a little bit. Because you can see like a little bit more noise. It just, not actual literal noise. It's just, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like, like it's like the the blurry shaky sort of stuff that you see in the background or I don't know how to explain it. I'll try to give a visual representation right now. It's 
Uh, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. We'll see. Hopefully it's a good video. I don't want to turn off my lights because then it'll look pretty bad. I don't play many horror games, but uh, I'm excited for this one. If you guys didn't know, I always sit crisscross applesauce in my chair. It's a little secret. Don't expose me. Oh. Ew, you guys hear that freaking... <laughs> Don't come. Come on, do it. Do it. Do the thing. <laughs> Bruh. I wanted to hear their, uh... I wanted to hear their intro. <laughs> Megan. Jeff! Are you okay? Ugh! Can't even feel my legs. Megan. Don't worry, Jeff. I'll go get help. That's Megan's voice. This is the worst headache ever. But I think I'm alright. It's getting dark. Better get the flashlight out of the trunk. Oh god, my sensitivity is pretty high. Oh my god! Is that Jeff? Uh... Get the flashlight! Don't worry, Jeff. I'll find help. Open says a me. Pick my flashlight. Yes, pick it up. Oh, yes, sir. I love that sound. How do I use it? Oh, I can strafe? Sheesh! Yeah, yeah, same. My mouse sensitivity is way too high. I'll just turn down my DPI. What? Stop! <laughs> How do I use my flashlight? That looks like a building in the distance. Maybe I can use the phone. Can I kill- Okay, I wonder if I can jump off. Ah, dang. So we gotta go up that building, I guess. Some tall grass. Better watch out for them Pokemanes. Alright, so, oh my god. Wait, what was that? What was that? What was that? Was that some, what the f what is that? What is that? Oh, it's, it's like a shack. Um, hello? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Alright, I'm coming in. What a creepy old shed. It's boarded up. Can I not go inside? Well, there's nothing inside anyways. I don't do well with horror games, if you guys haven't figured that out yet. I don't, I don't know, I just... That's a weird path. Go, oh, Megan! Megan. Yo, someone's right there, someone's right there, hello? Hello? Can I use your phone? Hey! Help me, sir! Need to use your phone. My name is Megan. Care to use your phone? If not, I will speak to your manager. Huh? Wait, what? Wasn't he right here? He was... Alright, guys! Maybe he just walked inside. Yeah, that's it. He just walked inside as I was going upstairs. The door is open. Go inside. Yes. Oh my god. They gotta slam the door like that. Yes. Uh. Alright, the door just locked. Somebody locked the set. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Um, left or right? Left or- we're going right. In the bathroom? What is this place? Why is it so massive? Just a greasy old toilet. Nothing useful. Toilet. Toilet. 
Hold it. Huh. play anymore that was why uh, what the heck uh, are you kidding just out of nowhere ah! damn that really that got me that really got me I don't want to go anymore all right so what are we just not supposed to go in there I want to see if it'll happen again Oh. Holy my I have goosebumps. I don't want to play anymore. I can't do this. I've been recording for 25 minutes. I record for 40 more. Not 40. I record for 15 more. So that's 40 minutes total of footage. Cuz I can't do this. That was terrifying. Bro, okay. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared! Oh lord. Oh god. Oh my god. Do it. Do it. Do it. Dude, I'm not even scared. What is that? What is that? It's an item. All right, all right, all right. Bar! An article ripped out of a newspaper. Read it. Yes. The search continues for two missing campers in the on the Pano, Pan, Pan, Pancono Mountains. Mason C. Sergeant and Laurie Summers of Long Island, New York, have been missing since June eighth. Their campsite belongings have been located, but investigators have few leads police say there are no visible signs of a struggle and this continues to be a rescue mission the rest is missing it's dated august 1982 five years ago okay so we leave that what the why why, why did you do that to me what what, what? no i'm not reading i've already read it dude old desk it's empty that was terrifying oh my god what the? It was such a loud scream. Oh, I I hate this. I can't do scary games. Twenty likes for a part two. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. One of these, nothing. Oh. What was that? Is that something? Is there something standing right there? What? Why? Why did it do that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Uh. Uh-uh. What is that? That's a person! That's not a person. What is it though? That's a person. That is a person. Oh my god. Where are you? It's, it's some kind of machine. I don't think I can use this. Looks like, uh, I don't know. Oh my God. I've barely even played this game and I'm terrified. Just another machine. This is like a drilling thingy. It's a big drill. Guess this was a factory. Okay. I guess that's why it's so big, but why is it out in the middle of nowhere? Why is there some random lady in a robe screaming at me and stabbing me? Why do these machines all look like people? Ah! I'm just having to brace for it every time I enter a room because I know it's going to happen eventually. Just that. Ah! It's a locked metal door. I feel like I'm being watched here. Yeah! By a woman in a robe who screams at you really loudly. Right, 30 minutes, guys. 10 more minutes and I'm done. 
But I mean, I need to actually play for those 10 minutes. What does it say? Uh, off? Off it? O F F E O T? Uh, off I don't know. Who comes in these buildings and spray paints this stuff? Alright, if the ghost, if I like see a ghost, like down the hallway, I'm not moving. I am running away from my computer and I'm not moving in game. No, I'm gone. Alright, I'm gonna enter this door, but I mean, I already know. What the? Alright, I mean, we gotta go. It's just, it's the, them's the rules. I can't be a Corey Kitchen fan and not play horror games. Alright, so we're down here now. We're gonna get murdered. We're gonna get murdered so fast. What is this labyrinth? We're in the catacombs. Did we come from there? Why is there a chair here? I wonder who was sitting down here in the... Yeah, right. Okay, the static does not mean... Like, that means go away. And we should heed her warning. Screaming woman. We can go down more? What? What is happening? Huh? Huh? You don't understand. You're just watching the video. You don't understand like making it, playing this game. What the? What is that? I'm not going in. Yes, I am. All right, there's an item. Why is there this red glowing? There's another item. This is creepy. All right, get ready to get screamed at. Okay, we're good, I think. What is this? A second part of a newspaper article. Read it. Yeah. The original building, the Sunshine Children's Orphanage, was rebuilt by Russell Moore, the eccentric millionaire. Inventor who rose to fame during World War II and later committed suicide after allegations of child abuse inside the facility. Moore left no will and the property was forfeited to the state, which left it abandoned until the fire in 1975. It's ripped. Maybe I can find the rest. The static th is not good. That means no bueno. What is this? Third part of new. Okay, yeah. What remained of the building was converted into the Brandon Sawmill opening. Since opening, seven workers have lost their lives to, to what state officials call a pattern of nearly criminal negligence in an effort to cut costs. Mill managers, on the other hand, blame industrial sabotage for accidents caused by facility equipment, most rope and harness failures. Somebody made the cuts, made the cuts in the rope, said manager Bob Gibb, just enough. So he wouldn't notice, but so they would snap during use. State inspectors have found no evidence of tampering. So, the millionaire built this building. He built it in an orphanage during World War II, right? And he abused the children and then committed suicide because of the allegations. And the building was left to rot. And then it was owned by the state. The state converted it into a sawmill. And um, many people have died. And I'm pretty sure many people died during the orphanage days. Read it? Sure. We're gonna find out what happened here. Brandon Mill to closed. Brandon Mill to close August 15th, 1981 after a series of accidents. Will be shut down later this month by the state regulators who seek to lease the land to the state park commission. But some residents say that say the grounds are cursed after decades, decades of mishaps, fires, and deaths. It's ripped. Maybe I can find the rest. Well, I mean, we came down here and we found out what happened. Now we gotta get out of here. And we saw a guy. We saw a guy at the beginning. I mean, you know what I mean? We saw a guy at the door. What was he doing here? That's just a ghost. That was the ghost. That, that guy was actually a girl who screamed at me in a robe. Now we gotta leave here. Why is this place so massive? What? Where am I? What is this? What is this place? It goes down! Is this down? This is down. We're going down, guys.
Surprise. No, no, I'm not going in there. It says surprise. That means no, don't go in there. I know, I watch horror movies. I watch people play scary games. Surprise, that means no. Don't go in there. There's a surprise went on the wall. Written on the wall, you do not go in there. But I'm recording a video and I need content, and it's at 40 minutes, but... What did I tell you? Knock my Momo hat off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. That's it. It's over. Video's over. Bye. Skadoosh. I'll see you guys later. Like and subscribe. 20 likes for part two. Skadoosh.